Exhibit. This video will introduce and discuss the second aspect of the BEAM framework, Exhibit Sources. Use Exhibit Sources to explain or interpret the topic or research question for your audience. These sources serve as evidence or an example of the point that you're attempting to make. The source can be a quote or description from a book or article from a scholarly peer-reviewed journal or from a popular source such as a website, magazine, or newspaper. Exhibit sources also include government report data, video interviews, memes, or other forms of media that may be cited in your research as well. Many scholarly and popular sources can be found using the university library's databases free of charge to you as a UNCG student. Sources you use should be relevant to your research topic or question. In addition to examining who, what, where, when, and why the source is relevant to your research, it can also be beneficial to analyze and determine exactly how the source is being used to illustrate a point or otherwise persuade the audience by noting the source's tone and purpose in your research writing. Pro tip, be sure to choose sources authored by individuals and organizations with expertise in the discipline or topic area. Credible sources will look different depending on the topic and the source type that you choose for the exhibit aspect of the BEAM framework. For all source types, an author's advanced education credentials, such as a master's, doctoral, or PhD degrees, are all associated with topic expertise as long as you can verify their identity. Journalists and scholars who write benefit from references or clicks on their articles. It's not uncommon for both types of authors to have professional websites that include uh, employment history linked to their online articles. For a popular source like a newspaper, magazine, or website, ideally the publication and the journalist who wrote the article should have some record or reputation of credible publishing experience. Think of publications like the New York Times or the LA Times, for example. Credible popular sources can include firsthand witness accounts of events, whether they be live tweets, or a television news interview. These sources can be counted as expertise in some situations. If you want to use such a source and are unsure about its credibility or how to cite it, consult with your instructor or a library. Suppose I was researching the topic of Black American women's maternal health, looking for examples or evidence of their health outcomes. Here's a quote I found attributed to health scientist Donna L. Hoyert, PhD, of the United States National Center for Health Statistics from their 2021 report, Analyzing and Summarizing International and National Health Organization Statistics About Maternal Mortality. 